So, something that we all have to do, and that is stick a, a lid on our bonds, because whether you like it or not, it's the law. And the truth being is, a lot of people don't take the care uh, over the helmet that they should, because after all, j just one day it might, like, you know, save you or whatever. Uh, if you already own one, I think you should clean it and take care of it. And if you are buying a new one, when you're buying it, ask a few questions that could be relevant and helpful towards cleaning it. Uh, visor removal for example, a lot of helmets of the past still use the screw system. Well if you've got plastic screws holding the side pods on which hold the visor on, don't use uh, a small little screwdriver to, to open them because all it'll do is chew the screws up. Use a decent chunky screwdriver or alternatively uh, a coin. You take care of them then because the truth is uh, half the time you can never buy replacements and if you damage them you'll never get uh, a replacement and you'll have to throw your helmet away. Um, some of the later ones uh, make life a little easier for you because they are designed to remove very easily, as simple as that, and then go back in the same manner. Couldn't be any easier. <coughs> this one for example, not a particularly costly helmet but hasn't got a horrible screw mechanism, you pull the side pod off you pull the visor away. And then finally on this particular helmet it hasn't got a side pod on at all and there's quite a few now with this sort of idea whereby you sort of wiggle it around and off she comes and then goes on in the reverse manner. <coughs> I think really you should look at that sort of thing when you're buying a new lid because if the visor comes off very easy you'll clean it and wash it more often. Doing so lasts longer, you've not got blurred or Scratch visor giving you blurred vision at night. Um, it's cheaper, let's be fair, because a visor nowadays can cost you anything between 20 quid and even as much as 35, 40 quid, depending on the make of helmet. Uh, about visors, well, the legal factor. There is legal visors and illegal visors. You're allowed to wear, at any time, a clear visor that has got a BSI approval stamp on it. That will come with the helmet. You're also allowed to use a slightly tinted visor that has got a BSI approved label on it and that's that. Only in daylight hours. So whatever lighting up time is registered in your local newspaper then only before that time are you allowed to wear it. Then you get your black ones which an awful lot of people wear and they look great. They're illegal day or night and very few people have seen these. That's a yellow one. This is this really does make a big difference in dull weather, um, rainy weather and so on. You see racers wearing with them. The enhanced contrast make the job look a little brighter out there, uh, but they're still illegal because they're uncoated and unapproved. And then finally, a desired sought after visor. That looks great on a helmet. But again, even though it's only a very light tint when you look through it, it's illegal because it's not BSI approved. Okay. So I've shown you how to take your visors off, have a good look at it when you get, you know, get your helmet out, try taking it on and off. Uh, I'll get rid of this and I'll show you then how about cleaning it and everything. Paul, will you just catch this for me and don't drop it? <laughs> uh, right, I need a word with him. Okay, a black visor, I want to put a black visor on here just to show you, horrible, sticky, dirty marks. Cleaning them. First priority never ever use a cloth because you, you haven't got a clue what's in the cloth there should be some foreign bodies in there it could be bits of metal it could be anything dust that will scratch your visor so don't clean it with a cloth first mistake and try and avoid the old you know <laughs> with your sleeve because again you don't know what's in your sleeve just use a tissue now due to the fact that there's a lot of bullshit in our establishment 90 percent of the time we always have a small toilet roll everywhere we go <coughs> Use tissue paper, use uh, kitchen roll, whatever. Um, we always have these things, wee willies. I'm famous for my wee willies. <coughs> quick squirt, in this case we've just got soapy water and a quick wipe. <coughs> if you've got a whole load of flies and things um, stuck to it after a week's riding and you can't get them off, remove your visor, stick some soapy water into a bowl stick your visor in the bowl and leave it for half an hour or whatever and when you come back to it they fell off then just run it under a cold tap give it a dry with a tissue and you're back to square one you've got a nice clean visor all the time avoiding the old cloth or whatever there's loads of products on the market for cleaning the visor on the outside for demisting the visor on the inside and even now 
sanitizers as they call them for using on the liners. Some helmets you can actually wash out, not all, so inquire when you buy one and inquire if you've already got one whether you can wash it out or not. If you can't there's a number of products as I say. This is one, a helmet cleaner, here's another and all they are really is designed to give it a bit of a fresher smell because after all you clean your barnet every uh, day how often do you clean your helmet liner? And then finally, if your visor's a bit sort of weak on the ratchet, don't assume because it's not scratched that you don't need to replace it. That ratchet could one day cause the visor to flick up when you don't expect it, catch you by surprise, frighten the living daylights out of you, even bring you off your machine. Check your visor, check your helmet, take a bit of care over it. You spent a few quid on one, even if it's only 40 quid. You might have even spent 450 quid if you've got, you know, if you've got the best. It's worth taking care of them. So all I can suggest, give it a clean regularly.